Hey guys, Hillary here from Old World Home. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time visiting, hi, hello, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today's video is part of the DIY and decor challenge that's hosted by Christina here on YouTube, the DIY Mommy. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I made a custom shower curtain for our basement bathroom renovation. We are still very much in the middle of this renovation. We have done a ton of work adding a shower to our existing basement bathroom and completely refinishing the entire space. But we are nearing the end and I was really excited to tackle a little sewing project. Now, I don't know how to sew, really, honestly. I am such a novice when it comes to it. But after watching a few YouTube tutorials and breaking out our little mini sewing machine that we have that's pretty comical to look at, it honestly works just fine and it can sew a straight line. And I can sew a straight line. So if I can do it, you can do it too, and here is how I put this whole thing together. The first thing I did was measure the height and the width of our shower. You will need five yards of fabric for this project since a standard shower curtain is about 72 by 72 inches. I folded the five yards in half and measured the floor to ceiling height, but then I added about two more inches to allow for the rod pocket, and I marked that number across the fabric at a few different intervals. This beautiful block print fabric actually came from Etsy, and I'll share the link to it in the description box. Now that I had my two pieces, I had to join them down the center. Luckily mine already had a finished seam, so I just needed to pin the two sections together before running them through the sewing machine. Since there was so much fabric to work with, I rolled up one half so that I could fit it through. Like I mentioned, my sewing machine is small but mighty. It's pretty easy to set up and run, and it comes with a foot pedal to use on the floor. I'll link to it on Amazon below. Now that my two pieces are joined in the center, I went ahead and started on the bottom hem. I pinned up about an inch, and I ran that through the machine as well. With my curtain hemmed, I hung it over the rod and started adjusting the length and pinning the top so that the fabric would just skim the floor. My initial plan was to actually run the rod through this top pocket, but then I remembered I had to also include the liner. So I went ahead and sewed the rod pocket shut and I used post-its to mark 12 even spaces across the top. Then I took a sharp knife and I cut straight through the post-it and the fabric together to make 12 holes for curtain clips. To keep the holes from fraying, I used liquid stitch to line each of the 12 openings. It creates a permanent seal to protect the edges, and then I just hung up the curtain and the liner together with simple curtain clips. I love how the fabric just kisses the floor and adds such lovely color and pattern to this all fresh new space. We of course still need to grout the tile, paint the walls, replace the window, and more. But with this project checked off the list, we are one step closer to a finished space. so much for watching if you are new here be sure to stick around and subscribe I have shared previous videos about our basement renovation where we started and basically our entire house on this channel that we have been renovating over the past three years so I'll link a few videos for you to go and check out and if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll be talking to you soon take care guys